I always wanted to use my skills and my life to serve God and to bless other people. So I think my faith in that way really prompted me to go. I felt this, almost if you call it a calling, I don't know if that's a strong word, but it, just this need and, and want to do something that is bigger than myself. My name is Josefin Tapper. I am from Sweden. I work on the Global Mercy as an anesthesia team leader. Uh, in my profession, I'm a nurse anesthetist. I started volunteering with Mercy Ships in 2015. Volunteering with Mercy Ships is, I think, such an amazing chance to use your profession in a setting where you can more clearly change people's lives, I think. And we do that, of course, in our home countries too. But because the need here is so big, I think that's such a valuable thing to be able to be part. You're a small part, but you're a part of the bigger picture of bringing safe and timely health care to these countries. I keep coming back to Mercy Ships uh, because I see the need in the countries where we serve. I see the need for both patients, but also for professionals of having mentoring and a chance to be equipped to do their work to their best ability. Uh, I've had the opportunity to have about 30 uh, local nurse anesthetists on board and it was so rewarding just meeting uh, these colleagues and sharing professional skills with each other. I think that's the way to go if you want to make a lasting impact in the countries we serve in. To mentor, to educate, uh, to advocate for our colleagues here. If you're thinking about coming and volunteering with Mercy Ships, I would just say do it. It is so valuable. You get to be in a community of people that are like-minded. You get to work with people from different parts of the world and you get to use your professional skills in a setting where you can really do it to the best of your ability. Meeting the patients, the caregivers, the local healthcare staff, uh, volunteers from other countries, it opens up your world and I don't think you're ever the same again.